I am Jacob Caridili Pura, 14 years of age, from Team TLTG Go for Gold. My name is Jacob Clint Eli Pura. I'm 14 years old, and I'm from TLTG Go for Gold team. My name is John Michael Alimos, 13 years old. I am member TLTG Go for Gold. My name is Tenshi Nazabi Samelia, and I am 13 years old. I am a team member of Talisa Luigi Triathlon Group or Go for Gold Cebu. Hi, my name is Franco. I'm 10 years old. I'm from TLTG Go for Gold Triathlon Team. Hi, my name is Aman. I'm 11 years old. I'm from a team called Go for Gold. Hi, I'm Izzy. I am 9 years old. I am from the Go for Gold Triathlon Team. My name is Yuan Mikhail B. Samelia, and I am 11 years old. I am a member of the Talisa Lubiri Triathlon Group. Under the training of our coach, Roland Remolino. My coach's name is Roland Remolino. Coach Andoy Remolino, aka Coach Andoy. My coach is Roland Andoy Remolino, Mary Joanna Remolino, and also Rolando Boyax Pagnanawan. Coach Andoy. My coaches are Coach Andoy Remolino, Mary Joanna Remolino, and Tate Boyax Pagnanawan. My coaches are Rolando Ramalino's head coach, Joanna Ramalino, Luil Ramalino, IC Ramalino, and Rolando Pagnanawan as, as assistant coaches. Coaches are Mary Joanna Ramalino, Luil Ramalino, IC Ramalino, Rolando Pagnana, Pagnana, Pagnanawan, and Rolando Ramolino as my head coach. My coaches are passionate and sometimes funny. Triathlon when I saw my fellow teammates from swimming converting to triathlon. I was inspired and I decided to participate in the challenging sport. When I saw my brother and my fellow teammates from swimming shifting to triathlon. When I was swimming, so my coach told my mom that um, I was recommended to go for um, training. I started triathlon because my mom convinced me to try it out when my mom encouraged me to do it. Coach Ando invited me to uh, join his team and my previous school supported me in my triathlon aside from my parents is that my brother was enrolled to a swimming lesson with Coach Andoy to help get rid of his asthma. Some time later, they convinced me to join and I went swimming under the IC's care. I was, tried, I, I was started triathlon swimming. It's not quite easy but was fun and exhausting. I was very tired and I was very exhausted. Good, it was good. They were supportive, so I got, uh, I got it in hand. My my first day with the team was excite was so exciting. I was anxious, but everything went fine. It was great. They are very warm, but I don't really talk to them that much because they speak Cebuano and they aren't comfortable in speaking English. During my first day of training. I pushed myself very hard because they are extremely fast and uh, I was a newbie that time. Not so good. I find it hard because of the intense training program the coaches gave me. The exhaustion is hard to manage but now I can tolerate a little more than I used to. The pain is most of the time bearable. Welcome to TNTG Go For Gold. I struggled to complete it but in the end I had a very satisfying race. I struggled to complete the race, but still, I managed to. I was motivated and inspired to train harder. Mm, scary. It's because I was last and my competitors were scary. It was really exhausting, but in the end, I was really happy. Intense because I, I was nervous and I got hit in the face many times. I was nervous and I was praying that I'll be safe during the entire race. The most embarrassing part of the race was when I was annoyed during my biking and running course when someone would call out my name like this. Go Tenchi! Go! And I would reply back like this. 
Yes, I'm doing it. Can't you see? Because during that time, I didn't understand that it's their way of showing their support to the athletes. I ended up fourth place without my knowledge and permission. I was registered in a triathlon competition three days before the competition itself. At first, I was very mad and frustrated at it, but I knew they wanted me to give it a try, and that was my first Iron Kid Cebu race. It was not fun for me at first. It was tough. I had a hard time handling the exhaustion I felt because I was inexperienced and did not have proper training. Enjoy, enjoying the race. Humble, passionate, and self-motivated triathletes. Supportive, kind, and disciplined. Are jolly, nice, and friendly. Are humble, passionate, and self-motivated triathletes. They treat each other with respect. Are friendly and funny. They are my second family because we see each other almost every day. They take the training seriously sometimes. They are good looking people and they are somewhat hilarious. That they tease me sometimes but other times they are friendly. Una sa lahat na kipag-usapan namin ang aming mga pinag-challenge ako at tinuruan ako kung paano para mabot ang gusto kong marating. I would be playing soccer or swimming. I would still be a swimmer. Sleeping and playing computer. I'll be doing taekwondo. Probably focus more on basketball and taekwondo. I would pursue my hobby in music because I used to play the drums back then. Then I'd rather be posting videos on YouTube or maybe becoming a music composer. I am doing cell phone computer. Don't put a limit into your dreams. The more you dream, the further you get. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limits. Don't give up. Keep trying and to never give up. If you want to reach your goals, you must work hard for them. The world is a big place, and no matter how good you get, there will always be someone better than you. What's important here is to give everything you can and enjoy the race. Most importantly for me is that you will learn something in every race and uh, you will learn a lot from your travels. It's just like joining the race and discovering the world at the same time. Pain is just the beginning. The more you will do the training, the more you will love it. That's the lesson I learned is based in my own experience. Being dragged into sports is not that bad at all. Pwede kayong sumali para maabot yung mga pangarap. Proud ako naabot ang ating pangarap.